Adrian, many congratulations. Thank you. You have wowed the crowd here in Leicester, and that's what they paid. All their ten money of them, yeah, it was ace. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they paid uh, their money for to see Adrian Lewis do things like that on the dark. No, do you know what? It's, um, I've never played here before uh, in this, you know, in this environment, and uh, yeah, I thought the crowd were fantastic. I mean, obviously there wasn't many of them, but with the bills and everything going up at home, what do you expect? That's all I see. The last few months have been really exciting for you and and your fans because I'm not going to say you're back. But there are glimpses of yes. vintage Adrian. I think, like I said, I said to you earlier that obviously off the camera, I was talking to you. I need to put a lot more work in. I think that's where I must have made. I'm just trying to enjoy it instead of you know just focusing purely on putting four or five hours a day. And at the minute, no, I'm not doing that. Should I? Yes, I should because I know them at all. But I'm trying to enjoy it, and as long as I can enjoy it, there's, um, there's a good chance I can do well. After years of searching on the dartboard since your two world titles, is that where you're yes. at now, where it is about enjoyment and not about Yeah, I think results? what hit me more than anything else, I think, obviously, when, when I caught COVID, it took me out of the Grand Prix two years ago, to, to, was it today or wherever it, yeah. you know, wherever it was, um, and I seem like I fall out of love with it, I think, you know, because you think, well, I've done that well for get there in the first place, playing all the pro tours and, and the Europeans and everything else. And then before you know it, you've got court COVID and you've been kicked out, you've got no ranking money, you've lost ranking money. And before you know it, you've gone from that number 14 in the world to number 38 or somewhere. And uh, I, I kind of felt a little bit, yeah. I, well, I hated it, to be honest. Did it get that bad that you just. Oh, yeah, 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 it did, yeah. Because I just think to myself, you know, I put that much work in, and it's like. It was demoralising. I just thought, well, what was the point of all that work in? I mean, nobody sees what goes on behind the scenes of course, yeah. when you're putting that much work in. And you live your life on a roller coaster. I don't care what anybody says there, you don't realise how much work, not just physically, but mentally, you don't realise. You really don't. From hating the game, obviously. I still you're... flipping hate it. <laughs> <laughs> but you're, you're smiling again. When did yeah. that change happen? Just because I've just been putting the. I can't say putting the work in, but just, just try and enjoy it. I think I'm just to the point where I've been doing a few exhibitions and and I was, I was in Scotland, um, obviously last week was Belgium, the week before that I was in Scotland, and lads, oh, Lewis, you're playing brilliant, you're playing brilliant. I said, listen, do not bat me for this tournament. I sent me in the Grand Prix, just do not go. Um, but now I'm thinking, well, I don't think I missed a double start, which is a massive change, and um, maybe I can win it, you know. Maybe I'm turning the tide where I think, yeah, maybe I can win this. Smiling, happy Adrian Lewis, carefree. Yeah. It's a dangerous Adrian Lewis, isn't it? Yeah, I, f I feel for Jose because, well, the, all draws are tough. And when I've got nothing to lose and, you know, he's, he's in the balance kind of thing. Um, yeah, I felt for him there. I did, because he's a lovely bloke. Rest of the year, lots of TV tournaments. What's the... What's the aims of Adrian Lewis between now and January Enjoy it. Enjoy it. I don't care if it, I, I win first round. Well, no, I do care. <laughs> no, I can't say I don't care because that's a lie. Um, just try and do it. I think that, that's the thing. I don't like willing myself or, oh, you know, I'm going to be a wheel beater. I'm going to go there and beat MVG and, and Peter and everybody. I don't, no, I aren't in that. But what I am doing is just focusing, trying to focus on the positives and try and enjoy it. On your day, though. That yes. A game is still there, and you can still beat any one of those top guys on the day. Yeah, of course I can. Like I said, I haven't put much practice in, but then I won a pro tour, which probably to me is the, the hardest one to win. So if I can win that, now I've just got put, put, put the work. I've got I've got work. I've got work at it, and that's it. Adrian, congratulations as always. Thanks. Cheers, thank you. Eddie, yeah, you've not got a lot coming off your ranking. Does it feel like mm. a clean set, like a fresh start on those? He does, yeah, of course he does. Um, like I said there with Jose, I mean, he's a lovely bloke. He's one of the nicest people I've ever, well, apart from Johnny Clay. <laughs> uh, he's one of the nicest blokes I've ever met. And uh, I, d I do feel sorry for him, I do, you know, because um, he was under the cosh anyway, obviously with defending and everything else. But it, it's happened to all of us, you know. Um, and I've just got to go up there and, and just try, try to do what I do. I'd say you have one of the biggest fan bases out of any of the players still. Do you feel any mm. sort of weight of expectation from that? Or do I do, I, I do. I, I feel under pressure myself because, I, I, you know, everybody's expecting me to deliver this and deliver... But I haven't been delivering for, what, four or five years now where I just haven't been at the races and I don't know if that's down... Well, it's down to my mindset, I know what it is. It's just me not, not being me kind of thing and just try and take... I don't know, I, just, I feel like I'm... I'm how can I put it like? I feel like I'm fighting against myself most of the time. That's that's where I'm at, and, and, and I've done it for that that long. It's just mentally drained the crap out of me.
what's the next step do you feel then? Just a bit of consistency? Game yeah, that's, that's what I need. I think at the moment, I'm, like I said, I've, I've been I've been fighting myself for that long now. I'm just trying to enjoy it and, and just, you know, I'm not expecting, I aren't expecting to win this. No, I aren't. But if I can turn up and play like I did tonight, I've got a good chance. Yeah, Chris, do be up next if you both Yes. Be a fantastic well, he, he took up massive finishes. He's, he's, he's another great lad. Um, but, you know, I'll just try my best and, and see what happens. Cheers, thank you. Eddie, you talk about winning that pro tour. Um, yes. When you go to those sort of events, you're you're forced to be on the board. You're forced to practice, aren't you? Is that a good environment? I, th I think the problem is at the minute. What I've done is I've tried like I'm like a, I'm a thinker, is what what what's commonly known as. And when I'm thinking all the time, like, I, I, I I try to think to myself, right, just take yourself away from doors completely. So when I turn up to these Pro Tours, I thought, right, what I'll do, I'll have a couple of weeks off, and I'll practice when I'm at the Pro Tours. And then when I'm sat with Gary and Mike and Michael Smith and everybody else and Ian White and all them, I seem like, <laughs> right, I'm going to practice, and now I don't practice. And I'm thinking, hey, you should be practicing now. This is your time now for, you know, for, for, for dig in. And uh, the only time I did actually practice, and, and, and I won the, you know, I won the, the title, so... Exactly. This is what I said there to Jay, yeah. This is what I need, I need to put more work in you. Yeah.